Welcome back. I hope you're looking forward to our next two videos. Now, the, I was having to think about all the animals in the world and thinking about which animals were yellow. And I thought about a giraffe, a lion and a chick. So on the website, I've put some images of some artwork that you could have a go at uh, of either a giraffe, a lion or a chick. But I thought I'd really like to do um, a giraffe. A really really tall giraffe as well so what we're going to need for this activity is some paper plates and I've got four here and they have to be the paper ones not those plastic ones because we are going to paint them and I've already painted mine um, and I've got mine here so we've got our paper plates and also I've got some dark pieces of colour some black and some brown because our giraffe is yellow and like a brown colour as well and um, we've got some glue to stick that on um, and I've got hole punch and a stapler some back-to-back -back tape which is my favourite always got back-to-back -back tape I've also got some pipe cleaners and I cut up three just in half so they're a little bit shorter and I'll show you what to do with those after um, a little bit of yellow card as extra and always our pencil so here we go so we've got our paper plates all coloured in yellow or painted in yellow which I've done and then I attached some patterns using my collage so I'm going to show you how I did that on my remaining paper plate just using a little bit of glue and you can use anything that you've got around the house maybe you've got some brown packaging paper or you could even use your wax crayons to colour in some giraffe patterns that would be nice and you can stick on as many or as few as you want mine happen to be a triangle shape but they don't have to be they can be any shape a nice splodgy shape would be nice some irregular shapes finish it off with just that one so now what I've got scrape the glue on the side I have got three paper plates with yellow and some brown and black patterns on for our giraffe now we'll have a look at the giraffe's face and what I've got for the giraffe's face I'm not going to put patterns on his face so I've got a yellow paper plate. I've also got his nose and I did that out of a piece of yellow card. I put a smiley face on and those are his eyes, those are his nose actually. I'm going to stick it on and show you. He's going to go there. It still looks like his eyes until I do this. So I've got some fabulous huge googly eyes but you can use paper and card and anything you want I'm just going to stick them on to his face that looks very funny oh I wonder what he's missing he's got his mouth he's got his nose he's got his eyes yes that's right he needs some ears doesn't he so I've got my ears cut out here and all I did for that was to fold a piece of card have a go at drawing an ear shape using my pencil so you can see that but I'm going to cut it out and the reason why I folded it is so you get two at the same time really easily so we've got two ears and I've just put a little bit of colour in the middle using my brown felt tip which I can finish off on the second ear there. and then I'm going to attach them you could put them to on the back or on the front I think I'm going to put one on the front today one on one side and one on the other and there's our giraffe's head. I think he's looking very nice and very proud. We've got all his body though. And what, how are we going to attach his body? 
Well, you're going to need a hole punch, which I've got here, or just something to make a hole, because I've made some holes at the top and the bottom of the body. And I need to make some holes here on the bottom of his head to attach them. And if you are using a pencil, you could put a rubber underneath to poke the hole through. You might need a bit of help with that. And then we've got the first part of our body. I'm going to use two pipe cleaners. I've got two holes to thread through. So we're going to thread through his body, thread through his head on both sides. And the holes don't need to be in exactly the same place. And you can just twist them together to secure them in a loop. Now let's do the next one. So the same thing, get our two pipe cleaners, which are just half pipe cleaners them through the next part of the body. There. Do it carefully. Thinking about my threading. And just twist them together. You don't need to worry about tying a knot. You can just twist them. Just be careful because the edges can be a little bit sharp. Now our giraffe's really going tall. And we've still got another part of his body to go. And this one I've put holes at the top but I haven't put them at the bottom because that's where we're going to attach his legs. So then with our last pipe cleaner, the same thing, we thread them through. And this is going to be a really tall craft. So when we come to show it at the end, you might not be able to see it fully on the screen. He's that tall. I wonder if we should name him. What would you call your giraffe? Here we go. Oh my goodness, look how tall he is. I have to put him at the side of me. And now we're going to put his legs on to make him even taller. And I've cut out some strips of yellow card. One, two, three, four. And on the bottom, I've done a little hoof or some hooves, which I'm going to do on the last one. By drawing a little line, colouring it in brown or black, that'd be fine. Now I'm going to use my stapler to attach the long legs to the bottom of the giraffe. And you can put them wherever you choose. You could maybe hole punch these on as well and use some more pipe cleaners, you could do that. You could attach it with some sellotape. It's really up to you. And we've got his four legs. And let's see what he looks like from his head all the way to his legs. There he is. And now I've put his legs on, I think it'd be really funny if you had a go at giving him some concertina legs and the way you do that is like a fan if you were making a fan you would fold it one way then the other and his legs start looking like funny little springs which i think would be very very funny and quite effective so you fold it one way and then the other towards you 
and then away from you. And you can go all the way up his leg or not. Here we go. Fold it forwards and away towards you, away from you. And he's going to have very springy legs towards you, away. And I just thought about that. If you didn't want to do that, you could add some more collage to his legs as well to give him some patterns on his legs. So there we have our very tall giraffe with his springy legs. And I think it'd look really great if you hung him from a door. And you can have a look at doing some more animal, yellow animal, paper crafts on the website. I hope you enjoyed this video.